Okay, in this example, we were asked if we could apply a tunnel template to uh, say a network that has pipes that are really far underground, large pipes um, that um, instead of the traditional trenching option, we may need to do some kind of tunnel boring. Um, so we can do that uh, still utilizing the same trenching template options. You can use any template that you can apply and it just uses that conduit as the base for uh, the template that it's going to drop. So in this example what we have is a couple of wastewater manholes and conduits that are placed and I'm going to show you inside the feature definition uh, how we can apply a trenching template and then for each of the conduits we're going to set the trenching option to true and let it place that template. So let's take a look at the feature definition um, inside of the file itself uh, I've copied out some feature definitions they were they were used when this was placed you can make this change in the DGN lib so it would apply that trenching option to the feature definition as it's placed uh, but I'm going to go in the feature definitions I'm going to go under my conduits uh, and then I have a wastewater uh, sanitary line this is just the sample that I used um, so for the conduit the trench template uh, all we've done is we've changed this to be a uh, template that we created that is a pipe tunnel okay so you can see that I can browse to any template that I want inside of the ITL so let's jump over to our open roads modeling and I'm gonna go into the create template dialog and I'm gonna show that I just took our sample ITL file created a new template which I called pipe tunnel and then I added a new circular component um, so to do that since I'm just doing a, a tunnel boring I just did a right click add new component and I placed a circle uh, so I can assign any feature definition I want to this uh, and place the origin of that and then I can specify the radius so in this case I've placed a, a 8 foot diameter uh, tunnel bore or I can do any size I can do multiple uh, size boring templates that I would want to use so if I have a 48 inch pipe I may want to do a six foot boring so I'd have a six foot tunnel um, so it would be a, a three foot radius okay so the radius is from the edge to the circle okay so this is an eight foot radius so this pipe or circular shape that's created is actually going to be 16 feet in diameter. Okay, so I'm going to close this without saving because I already have mine created. So I've placed this conduit. It has the sanitary line feature definition assigned and it is calling up the pipe tunnel template. Okay, but you see that there is no template that's created. All we have is the conduit. So I'm going to jump over to the drainage and utilities model and for that conduit I need to actually set the trench option to be yes. Okay, so it defaults in this case to no. If I say yes, it's going to process and it's going to apply that template. And you'll see that we'll get this circular component that gets created. Okay, so this is our boring template. If I rotate my view, okay, you'll see that this component that gets created runs down the entirety of that conduit pipe. Uh, and it creates kind of our, our boring component and that can be utilized as a closed component for quantities uh, or just for modeling purposes. Okay, so I could go in and apply that and then come into my SA1 uh, link for this circular pipe and set my trench option to yes, let it process and you'll see that it'll apply that component as well.